Some of the most shocking videos featuring brutal crimes, rare life and death incidents, and concealed evidence have been forbidden. We will attempt to shed light on these moments, but only those videos will prove the truth of how these events actually happened. 28-year-old martial artist and actor Brandon Lee, who is the son of Bruce Lee, was shot by accident while filming the movie The Crow on March 31, 1993. The scene took place when he discovered his fiancée was raped and beaten, and then he got shot in his stomach. They were unaware that the gun had real bullets. After six hours of surgery, they weren't able to save him. They used the video to show proof that his death was an accident and it was demolished after the legal case. Armin Mewes posted an ad entitled The Cannibal Café, searching for someone who would agree to being butchered and eaten. Bernd Branders replied yes to him. The two met up in Armin's house in Germany on March 9, 2001. Bernd's whole ordeal was captured on tape, where he was mutilated by Armin. Armin put out another ad, and a man tipped off the police, leading to his arrest. The tape has never been released. The CCTV caught on tape a 15-minute robbery of stolen diamonds worth $50 million. The eight felons disguised in masks carrying guns robbed 130 bags of diamonds from a jet located at Brussels Airport in 2013. The incident was believed to be an inside job. The police department never made the videos public despite pleas from the people. Given the circumstances, the certainty regarding the arrest of the robbers is unknown. In 2010, Tilikum, the largest killer whale held in captivity, killed Sea World trainer Dawn Branchot. During the performance, the massive whale dragged Dawn underwater and killed her. This incident was recorded since Dawn would document most of her routines and re-watch them for improvement. The footage has not been shown, but a documentary called Blackfish in 2013 addressed the incident. There have been other videos floating on the net claiming to be the real footage, but they have proven to be untrue. Jokar Sarnave was one of the bombers at the Boston Marathon, carrying a backpack at the location of the second bomb. People believe that the FBI and police contain a video of Jokar at the location of the second blast, which killed three people and left dozens injured during the 2013 Boston Marathon. Numerous controversial speculations and conspiracies about the tragic event led others to believe that the Boston PD bomb squad is holding secrets of the incident since the video hasn't been shown to the public. The conspiracy theories will continue, but might fade away if the video were to be released. In 1976, Sesame Street TV producers wanted to teach kids about fear and how to plan ahead. So, Sesame Street's 847th episode presented Margaret Hamilton as the Wicked Witch of the West from The Wizard of Oz, who threatens to transform Big Bird into a feather duster. However, after receiving numerous complaints from parents of children that were very frightened by the episode, they didn't repeat the show again. Since the episode was aired in 1976, it would be quite difficult to find a copy online, and there are no available DVD copies as well. The CIA confronted terrorist suspects Abdi and Abu Zabaida of Al-Qaeda in a black site prison in Thailand. There are a total of 90 tapes, and 12 of them displayed cruel torments and questioning that involved the two eating liquid diets, standing nude, and being left inside a box filled with insects. The CIA destroyed the tapes in 2005, and it became known in 2007 that they were demolished. During the Obama administration, lawyers have demanded for the release of the tapes, but it was never approved. Canadian WWF wrestler Owen Hart was preparing for a stunt as a comedic hero where he would have a grand entrance in the ring while attached to a harness from above and pretend like he was trapped. The stunt didn't go well, and Owen accidentally fell 70 feet and landed on his chest. Paramedics rushed to revive him, and it was all captured on tape. 
He was rushed to the hospital, but they couldn't save him. They dedicated a show called WWF Raw. The videos have never been released and will not be shown to the public. The Department of Defense Headquarters recorded the hijacking incident of American Airlines Flight 77, which hit the Pentagon. However, the FBI took possession of the videos and will not release them to the public. They have a total of 84 surveillance videos of the incident at the Pentagon and its neighboring businesses. They have made public a few confusing videos, which have led some people to wonder about the attack. The videos are not yet going to be released to the public. A WTOG and WXLT TV news reporter from Florida, Christine Chubbuck, committed suicide on live national TV on July 15, 1974. Suffering from depression, Christine conducted research with a police officer about the most effective way to commit suicide. Christine even joked to her co-workers that she would kill herself at work, but they never believed her. She preferred the TV show to feature more inspiring stories instead of violent news. Christine shot herself behind her head after reporting three stories. She died 14 hours later at the hospital. The police retrieved the tapes, which can't be found online. Scarborough rapist Paul Bernardo committed 18 rapes and killed more than three people back in the 80s and 90s. After getting engaged to Carla Homolka, he became fixated with Tammy, her younger sister, and manipulated Carla into drugging her so he could rape her and capture it on video. Tammy choked and died, but the police considered it an accident. Paul kidnapped, raped, and killed two other girls while Carla captured it on videotape. When law enforcement finally caught up to Paul, Carla testified against him, granting her 12 years of prison while Paul was sentenced to life. There are also videos showing Carla beating up the victims that have never been made public. Australian crocodile hunter Steve Irwin, known as an adventurous wildlife TV host, started his show in 1996. While producing the documentary Ocean's Deadliest for his daughter's TV program, Steve snorkeled down Bat's Reef in Queensland, Australia and was stabbed by a stingray in his chest. This caused loads of bleeding and Steve died after that. People think that his death was captured on tape with Steve's last words being, don't worry, they usually don't swim backwards. Law enforcement viewed the tape, which was destroyed as per request of Steve's family. Yet, many people think that there are copies of the video, though they could be fake. On the morning of December 14, 2012, 20-year-old Adam Lanza killed his mother. He then took her rifle and killed 20 children at the Sandy Hook Elementary School in Connecticut. Adam killed himself afterwards, and this incident became known as the most fatal mass shooting in the U.S. school history. The cameras captured Adam coming inside the school and also the shooting, but no videos have been released. Several conspiracy theories came about on the shooting. Many questioned the truth of the incident and wondered if there was an agenda for gun control since the footages have been kept from the public. Bear enthusiast, environmentalist, and documentary filmmaker Timothy Tradwell and his girlfriend Amy were mauled to death by bears at Katmai National Park in Alaska. He had been documenting the bears for 13 years at the park, despite criticism saying he was not being safe. Before the incident, Timothy had the camera on to capture the scene, but the lens cap was on. The audio of the vent is six minutes long, where you can hear Timothy and Amy yelling very loudly. Werner Herzog produced a film entitled Grizzly Man and listened to Timothy's bear recordings with headphones, but viewers couldn't hear the recording. The audio has been placed in a secure location. Although a segment of the clips was supposedly leaked in 2008, viewers perceive it to be fake. Senior students Eric Harris and Dylan Klebold from Columbine High School in Colorado killed 12 students and one teacher before killing themselves on April 20th, 1999. One week before the tragic event, they created five home videos known as the Basement Tapes. One of the 15-minute videos was shown to the public in October 2003, displaying them at the shooting range. 
The second video was a film they both produced in school entitled Hitmen for Hire. The family of the victims secured the videos inside a vault. The videos were later demolished in 2011. People have leaked videos onto the internet, but their authenticity is still questionable. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe.